Zurich Airport is Switzerland's gateway to the world. For its function as an international hub airport, all three runways are operated daily in different concepts. Long closures of individual runways are not possible. However, the heavily used central strip of runway 1028 has reached the end of its service life. So it needs to be resurfaced in stages during the night, outside the airport operating hours. At the same time, the ground lighting along the runway is converted from halogen to LED lights with smart connectivity technology. Runway 1028 is located in the center of the airfield. Extensive preliminary work was carried out between 2018 and 2021 to prepare the center strip resurfacing and upgrade the runway lighting technology. For example, various taxiways were adjusted when laying the foundations for the new lighting system. The new smart LED lights were installed on new foundations parallel to the existing lighting system, shown here greatly enlarged. The centerline lights in the middle of the runway and parts of the taxiway lighting are located in the area to be resurfaced and will be replaced during repaving. In total, around 1300 halogen lamps will be replaced by LED lights. Between 2018 and 2020, three new partly underground transformer stations for electrical power supply were built. These stations are about the size of small sport halls. In addition to the power supply equipment, they also contain state-of-the-art technology for controlling, monitoring and troubleshooting the new LED lighting system. Each of the new stations will later serve a so-called technical area. The individual areas will be supplied redundantly using two separate ring circuits running in opposite directions and independent of each other. In case one or both ring circuits are accidentally interrupted, for example during construction works, the power supply for the entire area will continuously be ensured by one of the circuits. The cabling for the new lighting system is completely new. In total, 14 kilometers of cable routes with over 200 new shafts were built and around 600 kilometers of cables were laid. Each one of the new smart LEDs continuously reports its technical condition. Failures can thus be predicted in advance. This enables predictive maintenance and in combination with redundant cabling significantly increases the technical availability of the lighting system. At the beginning of 2022, all preliminary work was completed. The center of the runway will now be resurfaced over 70 to 80 night shifts. The existing concrete will be replaced by a three-layer asphalt pavement. Work begins at 11.30 p.m. immediately after the runway has been cleared for construction work. Two 90-ton excavators break up the old 30-centimeter thick concrete slabs. Around 1,000 tons of concrete are loaded and transported away. Noise barriers will be erected to protect local residents from noise emissions. Around 60 meters of runway will be repaved each night. All the work steps are meticulously planned. After one and a half hours, by 1.15 a.m., the removal stage must be completed. There are no margins for delays. The first aircraft must be able to take off in five and a half hours. 2 a.m. Another 8 centimeters must be removed from the foundation as the new asphalt pavement must be thicker than the old concrete. Once this has been done, the conduits for the centerline lighting cables are installed in these sections. Everything is then ready for asphalt paving. At 2.45 a.m., just over four hours after starting, paving of the 28 centimeter thick base course begins. The special low-temperature asphalt is paved at a temperature of only approximately 140 degrees. 
after cooling down below 120 degrees, 60 to 90 minutes after paving, depending on the weather, the layer will be fully hardened. This low temperature asphalt allows the runway to be put in operation again the next morning. This would be impossible with normal asphalt or concrete. Four fifteen a.m. Not even three hours left to the first takeoff. The binder course is being paved. Two asphalt pavers are working in parallel. The layer is ten centimeters thick, thus paved up to runway level. Placeholders for the centerline lights are precisely aligned and installed in front of the pavers. Paving the entire layer takes one hour. Five thirty a.m. Just ninety minutes left. Asphalt paving is completed. Now the placeholders are removed and the installation frames of the centerline lights are installed. At the same time, the runway centerline marking is applied. At 6 a.m. sharp, all construction equipment is off the runway. Now it's time for the final cleaning, safety inspection and acceptance of the runway. By 7 a.m., the surface of the new runway was cooled to below 80 degrees and is ready for the first takeoff. Periodically, after about 10 to 15 night shifts, the final surface layer is paved in 120 meter sections in the corresponding area. For this purpose, the completely cooled pavement is removed again by 4 centimeters. The fine grained, high quality surface course is then paved with maximum precision. This layer, which is only 4 centimeters thick, cools down completely by the time it's put into operation in the morning and thus reaches its final strength before the start of operation. The pavement replacement is completed with the installation of the surface course. Markings are applied on the finished runway. Finally, the runway surface is grooved for better drainage of rainwater. This completes the renovation of this area. At the beginning of August 2022, the new pavement and new LED lighting system for runway 1028 are finished. Together, they will ensure safe operation of the runway for decades to come.